Welcome back. This is Samantha with the DevOps Library. We're glad you found yourself here. Today we're going to add a Linux Minion to our Saltmaster. If you're wondering what a Minion is, don't worry. It's just salt stack terminology for a server that can be controlled by the master. Alright, let's go ahead now and get started. First, spin up an Ubuntu 14.04 instance on AWS. You should be able to stick with the default settings for everything, but do make sure that it's placed in a security group and network that has access to our Saltmaster. We're actually going to use a little cloud init script to change the hostname to Linux Minion, but we'll stick with the defaults for everything else. Alright, once it finishes starting, go ahead and SSH into the instance. Now all that we need to do is to install the Salt Minion service. But first, let's make sure this Minion can resolve the master. Run ping salt. Ouch, that didn't work. If we were doing this in a real production environment, we'd make sure our DNS server had an entry for salt, pointing to the IP of our master. But for now, let's just add the IP of the master to our host's file. Open up slash etsy slash hosts. Type the IP of the master, followed by the host name salt then save and close the file. Alright, let's go ahead and try to ping the master one more time. Ping salt. Perfect, there we go. We're now ready to install the salt minion service. Run curl dash l https colon slash slash bootstrap dot saltstack dot com pipe sudo sh. Alright, that's it. No, for real, that's seriously the only thing that we need to do on our Linux Minion. It really is that easy. We do still need to accept the cert though on our Saltmaster, so let's go ahead and do that now. SSH into the master. Run sudo dash i to become root. Then run salt key dash a to accept the cert. Great job, you did it! Just for the fun of it, let's go ahead and run salt star c m d dot run if config. Look, we just ran if config on both of our minions and we didn't even need to SSH in to do it. Isn't that awesome? Okay, in our next lesson we're going to show you how to set up a Windows minion. As always, thanks so much for watching, and if you do enjoy our videos, please consider supporting us, even if it's just a tiny amount, every bit helps. We love making our videos, and we want to keep them for you free forever. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye-bye.